How is your title density, the keywords on Amazon that help your product be found by more people, to be findable, searchable? My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. And in this video, I'm going to walk through title density. I've actually never covered this topic in the 2,000 videos we've published. But with SEO changes really heating up right now, in a recent video I put out, I explain how Amazon's search term field has gone from 250 bytes and is now 2,500 characters. A lot of theories going around about why that is and whether it's because they want shorter titles. And that brings us to title density. So if you go into a tool like Helium 10 and sort all of your keywords, so this is one of my best selling products. I've got some Sage Soap. Uh, and 6,500 keywords are indexed on this product. Very good selling product. Here's the product in question. And now the question is, is, is my title good, right? Now, historically speaking, when I talk about text and images, I typically default to this philosophy. Images are for people and text is for robots. Now there is a minor crossover that some people do read the title, some people do read a lot of the description, but for the most part, we've been stuffing our titles heavily in favor of keyword stuffing uh, versus the conversion benefits of, of a lengthy title. Now, if Amazon says, hey, everybody going down to 50 characters on a title, you're gonna see a massive change on SEO and search, and that's, that's the implications of that could come from this. In the meantime, while we don't know if Amazon is gonna push hardcore on shorter titles, they did try a couple of years ago and then backed off, you still need to know like, are these the right keywords? Is this what's gonna make the most maximum keyword indexing or ranking? So with that in mind, in the filters, you can see a lot of different things that can help you. I'm gonna drag over to the right, title density, and we're gonna focus on this today. I have pre-sorted this by keyword sales. Now, obviously there's some things in here like uh, branded terms and whatnot. So I filtered this by the number of keyword sales to start us out here. So you can see like Dove Soap Bar at 14,000 keyword sales. And I do think that's on a monthly basis. And you can see the keyword volumes as well. Let me pull that over. So you can see 87,000 search volume right there. So our goal in this video is to, is to validate, are we putting the right keywords in this title? And if not, what should we get rid of? What should we add? What should we replace? So in here, we can see, obviously we're not gonna throw the word dove in, so it's kind of like, that one's out. But as we go down this list, if turmeric is in any of my ingredients, and it is in at least one of my soaps, so if we look down this list, if turmeric was in one of these, I need to make sure I get an exact match in the title. So this is the turmeric honey orange version. And right here, turmeric soap bar, we're gonna wanna have turmeric soap bar with an exact match. I don't have an exact match of that right now, and we need to make sure we obtain one. So generally speaking, this, is, this can be done, a lot of people in a lot of the videos you look at will say do it based on search volume, and that's, that's definitely helpful. We do that in the master keyword list in our first stages of SEO. What nobody is talking about is how if you can find high search volume keywords that have low title densities currently and you add it, you're gonna have a huge main advantage. You're gonna rank higher for the keyword, you're gonna gain some of those impressions in that click share. So that's really the whole point of this and what we're trying to obtain and what we're trying to do. So if we take, take an action item right here, adding the exact match turmeric soap bar, we would come into this and we'd go in and, and edit that, that listing. So let's go into that listing. And we started on one variation, we're kind of pivoting over to this one based on the, the title density being low, lower is better in this case, uh, and then also the high search volume. So with the 73,000 search volume, even though there's 20 people that do this already, totally fine to go ahead and do this because from a ratio standpoint, that is a low density for what it is. Gotta love, every time I go in here, there's always like a new safety and warning um, label thing you got to add in here. Uh, I'm just going to put NA and see if it lets me do it. Perfect. Nice. All right. So product details, maybe I'll write, don't eat it. Right. Um, so in here, age of sage, fall soaps, handmade bar soap gift for women. And so I'm going to just jump straight in here and write turmeric soap bar. And then we got our exact match super early in the title, handmade bar soap, 
And I don't think the gift for woman angle matters at all. And we'll validate that as we go along. Okay, so since I switched the ASIN over to this one, I'm going to redo the filter and we're going to swap over to that variation. Now, um, these variations tend to combine on the keywords. So the data should technically be the same, but just in case, if not, I'm just validating and making sure. All right, so we're going to sort this by search volume and we do see a little bit different results. So that's I'm glad I'm switch, switching over on the keyword here. So skincare, Thanksgiving, yeah, definitely got a Thanksgiving angle to this. Uh, so ironically, the word Thanksgiving doesn't show up. So we're going to go ahead and add that in. Now, what's interesting is there's still supposedly 127,000 search volume on this. And if we expand this out, you know, obviously we have a big push in the November, but year round, this has some staying power, surprisingly. So we're going to add that in. So handmade Thanksgiving bar soap, maybe we'll do that. Thanksgiving bar soap uh, scents, maybe try that angle. All right, so we'll keep going through the title density here, see what else we can find. Shea butter, a lot of people are using that, so I might avoid that one. Body wash women, eh, I don't know how, how I feel about that. It's not really a body wash, so if we go look at this, we'll see a lot of body washers come up. Turmeric soap bar, there's that turmeric. We've got a competitor with Dr. Squatch. Oil cleanser, that might be an interesting one. I, I don't know how much of an oil cleanser this is, and as I scroll down here, there's no soap showing up, so I'm probably gonna say, Maybe not. Bar soap, that one's got a, a little bit higher on the title density. Cinnamon, sage, obviously my brand name is sage. Body butter, uh, I don't think this would qualify for body butter angle. Yeah, no. So as we go down, we have to find relevancy as we kind of mix this in. I think Loom is probably a brand name. Zero on the title density. Soap bar. So that's kind of curious. Do we have an exact match for soap bar? We do in the bullets, but not in the title. So I'm kind of curious how we could mix that in. We've got soap bar when we added the turmeric. So, so that's a two for one right there. Goat milk soap. I don't know if mine has goat milk in it. It might. No word goat showing up anywhere. Let's go look at my ingredient list. Uh, not seeing goat anywhere on there. So that one's not relevant. So we keep going down. Dr. Bronner, that's a brand name. Gifts for Women, that does show up only on a one on the title density. I swear, though, I put that in a lot of my products. Uh, big gift angle. Women's Fragrances, that could be interesting. Uh, I don't, I bet you I don't even have the word fragrance on my listing. Yeah, no, it's not. So that one might be an interesting angle. Zero on the title density with 14,000 search volume. So let's look here. Handmade Thanksgiving bar soap scents, face and body skincare, harvest scents. And then we, we actually list out the scents at the end there. Face and body skincare, women's fragrances. We'll, we'll type that in there and see how that does. I actually think that's probably less important than the actual scents of the bars here. Uh, Ivory Soap Bar, that's another brand name. So we go down this list here. Turmeric Soap again. Is that the second turmeric versus Soap Bar? So we're already getting, we got a three for one on that one. So that's a huge change or addition. Saddle Soap, I wonder if that's a brand name. Uh, yes, that's, that's an old timey wimey brand. Defense Soap, probably another brand name. Oatmeal Bath, don't think that one's applicable. And we're still in the 9,000 search volumes on this. And we're trying to look at those low density, try and find, you know, what's going to be the highest match. We've got the pumpkin, another turmeric match. So how, how many turmerics are we showing up here? I'm just kind of curious on that. we got turmeric everywhere. So that seems to be like the biggest angle. Yanni Wash, Beacon, those are probably all brand names. Going to page two here, Everyman Jack, lots and lots of brand names. Remedy Soap, probably another brand name. Iris, probably another brand name. Uh, Caress, probably another brand name. Geez, a lot of brand names here. Natural Soap, so there's another angle. I think that's probably a really good fit for mine. We don't have the word natural. I wonder if we even have the word natural on my listing. Natural Soap. So we've got it in the A-plus content. Got 11 hits off the Control-F here. 
So we're definitely going to want to work in natural soap. I think that's going to be a really good one. Age of Sage false soaps, turmeric bar soap bar, handmade Thanksgiving bar soap scents, natural soap. Probably is just a solid like natural soap, handmade Thanksgiving bar soap scents. I think that's good. Natural soap like that. Obviously, we're still stuffing the title. Obviously, the the word flow hasn't been done yet. Some other brand names showing up here. Men's Soap Bar. So some of mine could definitely be women. Some could be men's. Honestly, this actually happens to be my favorite scent. Like, I really like apple cinnamon. Like, that's my pick. I like the pumpkin spice. The turmeric we just did because of the search volumes. I don't even know what turmeric smells like, to be honest. I've used it, but it's not memorable for me. Uh, pumpkin spice. So we do have spice showing up. That's got a high density though. So probably not as important. And we've got cranberry spice, pumpkin spice. Both of those are showing up. Organic. This is definitely an organic type product. So, all right. So we're hitting our limit here. So something's going to have to cave. Turmeric soap bar, natural soap, handmade Thanksgiving bar soap scents, women's fragrances, harvest scents. We'll get rid of the word sense there to make a little bit of room. And the one we were thinking about adding is natural. Uh, we, we got natural already. What was the other one we were looking at? So bathroom soap. No, it's not really a good bathroom soap. 3,000 on the search volume, two on the title density. So this is just me kind of going down and figuring out what we can do here. And you would do this at the ASIN level. You'd go through every single ASIN and run kind of the same play. Now, there's going to be some crossovers between some variations, especially with the soaps that we have here. But we got to get this down to 200 characters. We're pretty close. Handmade Thanksgiving bar soap scents. Thanksgiving harvest. Well, we, I guess the word harvest is still there. Women's fragrances. Probably the odd man out here is probably women's fragrances, even though I really wanted to try and work that one in. I think the turmeric and Thanksgiving is probably more applicable here. And we could probably put the woman's fragrances somewhere else. All right, so safety and compliance, red air, again, contains liquid contents, no. All right, save and finish. Let's see if that goes through. And we should see that title update within 24 hours. So then we just run the same play for the next title. I'm just gonna make sure that it hits save. It's like thinking about it. And then you gotta go back and like validate your title actually updates. And if not, then you gotta start filing some brand registry tickets and whatnot. And then I also like to just inform the team, hey, I made an update to the title. Uh, I updated title for title density strategy. And then that way we track this so we know to go back to it uh, and see how it does. So for example, you know, with the updates, uh, Thanksgiving, did we increase our keyword ranking on the word Thanksgiving? So if we come in here and we open up the filters later on, after we made this change, give it like a week or two, usually close to 10 days. And then we look for words contain. Uh, let's see, which there's a lot of filters here. Competing products, organic rank, phrases containing. There we go. And we type in Thanksgiving. There's only one showing up right now, and I don't even index for it, um, which is interesting. So if I start indexing for Thanksgiving keywords following this change, that'd be a pretty good thing. That'd be really good. Then when we go through some of the alternatives, right? So like here's the oat milk one, which we're going to definitely want to have the oat milk, you know, angle harder on that one. But let's say we get to a variation where it's not as like thematic, right? Like there's not like an obvious play. That's the one I'm going to probably th throw women's fragrance on. So I'm going to go over to that ASIN right now and try and see if I can work women's fragrances into this one. Because I do think all these fruity smells very woman oriented. Gotta love the safety and compliance riff. It's, I swear, like every single time I log in, they're adding a new one. So with essential oil for women, uh, with essential oil, women's fragrances. And I spelled it right. All right. Sweet. Four pack fruity scent. All right. So that's, I'm going to save that. Oh, I got to go back to the red airs. Ugh. So annoying. Not applicable. Then it's going to tell me if my liquids include. No, there's no liquid. It's bar soap. Save and finish. All right, so it's getting harder to update your titles. It's getting harder to update everything on Amazon. You do run some risks when you make changes. You can see some things fall down. You know, you make it worse. 
But by and large, when you're updating keywords and doing SEO work, I usually see kind of a four to one ratio, four gains for one loss. That's a pretty good ratio, which means it's okay to do frequent updates on SEO. A lot of people are like, mm, SEO, set it and forget it. Not the case. This is a continuous process. So at my Amazon guy, we run multiple phases of SEO. And the video you may want to watch next is this SEO masterclass, 70 minutes, where I break down every single phase of SEO from indexing to ranking. You're going to want to check this video out next.